What's up guys, Mainman Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, welcome back to Tekken Tag 1. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Dark Beast, the Prince of Darkness, Armor King in Tag 1, really cool character. If you remember from my previous videos, in Tekken 5 DR, you, you didn't see Armor King from, you saw him in Tag 1, Tekken 4 vanished, was not in Tekken 5, and then he made his return in DR, but he was useless unplayable he was so trash and then they fixed him for Tekken 6 but uh, as you will see with this character the Tekken community got to love Armor King here but then he was taken away from us and then DR he sucked Tekken 6 was a return to form but so let me show you the badass character and don't you just love this dark upper here <laughs> I love that animation it's the animation he has in Tekken 7 if you do, you know, the, the blue spark version after a key charge. He, he does the old classic dark upper and I really wish that was his normal animation. It really sets him apart, you know. Uh, the dark upper in Tekken 7, the normal one, it just looks like a wind god fist. Here it actually, there's an armor king trademark technique to it. Uh, but let's start with the fro- oh god, the fro game. Of course, it's very complete here. Uh, I mean, it's been since, uh, well, since this game, I guess. Tekken 2, we don't really count. Armor King was not in Tekken 3. Uh, holy hell, I can't input a tombstone. So we have 48 damage here and great Oki. It takes quite a while for them to recover from the tombstone, which probably would kill you in real life, to be honest. But so that's a 2 break. Then we have 1 plus 2 break. DDT into BOOM! Quick get up kick. Add 7 extra damage, unavoidable, it's the same in Tekken 7. And in this game he actually got the Armor King Driver, which is super badass, Eesh! Does 32 damage, and of course, uh, no coincidence he got it in this game, you could pair up with King. If you hit the tag button during this animation, King would jump in with a clothesline. Unfortunately, I have the grandson here, so we're not gonna do that. We need the grandson for combo damage. King doesn't have combo damage. Uh, and of course, it's not a armor king throw game without the god damn it. Can I get a giant swing? Uh, honestly, it's no joke how clunky the controls are in Tag 1. If you don't believe me, head back into this game. Try to do the wave dash, back dash, all of it. It's so fucking funky. And you see, he even has uh, King's uh, quarter circle forward one throw. But uh, yes, the, the throw game is intact uh, and it hurts a lot. As you can see, 70 damage there. It's half life, normal health is 150. Uh, and the dark upper is better than it's ever been. It's minus seven on block, making it completely safe. On hit, you get a big launch, and we tag in the grandson as we always do for huge goddamn damage. Uh, and it's got excellent range. And it's got a very low hitbox, as you can see, it's a special mid, just like a dick jab, meaning, as you know, it can be blocked crouching, it can be blocked standing, so you cannot duck this move. It's, uh, yeah, and it's safe. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, and it's fast, you know, 14 frames. But also scary is that the hitbox is so goddamn low that people just twitching on the ground. Uh, oh god, okay, that's a full launch. You see that? If you just do the tiniest little uh on the ground, you breathe. <gasps> the dark upper slays you. The hitbox is insanely low. It kind of fits with the animation, you know, the scooping. Um, so, beautiful move, indeed. Um, and then, I just want to go over 1-2-1, one, one, because this string is so cool in this game. Uh, on block, uh, as you know, th this is high, high, mid. On block in this game, the last hit is zero. It's perfectly neutral, so we recover just as fast. But, let's say he's crouching, and the last one hits, you're plus 11, so you have a guaranteed jab. Uh, uh! Paul can't do a thing here. Uh, but this is on normal hit. Uh, on counter hit, it does the same thing. But interestingly is also that, of course, the giant swing uh, is 10 frames. 
You see? He can't do a thing. I was gonna say 80 damage, yes. Poof! He can't do a thing. Uh, now, what I mean when I say that is that the throw attempt is uninterruptible should that last hit connect. He can still break the giant swing by pressing 1. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, you know, it's impossible on player 1. Controls are so shit. He can still break the, the throw by pressing 1. But this is still pretty damn insane that you get a free attempt there. Uh, or you can take the jab. Uh, and then we have, as I showed you before, CD1 is a monster of a move. Um, it's high. Uh, on guard, it's on guard. <laughs> it's plus 8. That's pretty good. Um, is it still plus 8? I don't remember actually. I know it's plus. Uh, and on hit, we get uh, either a follow-up or we get some seriously scary uh, Oki, where as I showed before, we can launch uh, if they try and stand. Uh, and we can, of course, tag in our grandson. Uh, and again, if it twitch on the ground, uh, well, Jesus. Like so. It's, it's just a very good situation you end up in there. Uh, and interestingly, he has King's downward one here. So he doesn't have his, you know, gut punch downward one yet. He, will, he gets that one in DR. Uh, and King's downward one is 14 frames fast. It's plus one on hit only. And on guard, it's um, minus one. So it's pretty damn good. And the range is quite excellent. And in this game, he has his down for two. Unfortunately, the hitbox was quite terrible. It's really bad, as you can see. Very bad. Uh, and the frames are terrible. Uh, it has no pushback. It's minus 10. It doesn't guarantee anything even on counter hit, you know. It doesn't have its trademark counter hit knockdown. So down for two was pretty damn shit. Um... And then uh, down four actually for low poke. Uh, as you've seen in these, these videos, down four has always been a fantastic tool and it really is with Armor King as well. It's only minus seven on block. I mean, pretty good. And plus four on hit. So down four, man. It's uh, <laughs> really good, I would say. Uh, and then we have sidestep two. Oh, oh sorry. Which is also a really cool move. It's minus 11 on block, but it is done out of a sidestep in a game where the sidestep is really big. And then you just press 2. It's very fast. If it hits from specific angles, you get a guaranteed back 3. Uh, but it is minus 11, but still a uh, very interesting move. And, oh, this is also so cool, and I hate that he doesn't have it today. Uh, forward 1 4, the Charge of Darkness. Uh, it's got great range. Uh, well, <laughs> it had great range, I guess. There we go. And knockdown. Uh, and on block, it's really cool. It's it's minus one, but you end up with your back towards the enemy. But of course, you'll just punch them in the nuts. Oh wait. Except Armor King is blind. He can't punch anyone in the nuts. Uh, nope. Down four. Oh, just we'll throw them. Uh, but it's a really cool tool. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have his 12 frame counter hit high launcher. Instead, we have this, which is not very good at all. It's punishable. It's slow. There's somewhat of a step built into it, and it does 30 damage, but not, not enough perks to this move to um, motivate us to use that. Uh, and he has uh, CD4, which is also really nice. Uh, knocks down a counter hit, kablam. Doesn't it? No, it, it never knocks down. What? Oh, yeah, you have to hold right. Okay. So it knocks down, now I'm quite unsure. Do it, does it knock down crouching? Or? No, I think you have to hold. You have to, oh right, it gives that stun where you have to hold forward not to get knocked down, I think, into guaranteed damage. 
Uh, but it is plus 6 on hit, and on block it is minus 8. So it's a perfectly safe mid with really good range. And gives you plus 6 on hit. So th this was a very good tool. Uh, and down back 4 is the big damage low into guaranteed down 3, I think. Um, it is minus 21 on block, so you're launch punishable. Uh, if it's blocked, he unfortunately stands up afterwards. So you get launch punished, but when you have such excellent mids, yeah, people are probably not gonna duck a whole lot. But it does have really good range, being a low drop kick. And now we're gonna come to my favorite tool, which is a move that uh, by the Swedish community who loved Tag 1, was seen as impossible to connect. It, there was actually a prize pool uh, open for anyone who uh, attempted this move and ha it, should you have it connect you would get a thousand dollars by the community forward three plus four just a legendary move <laughs> I, I don't remember what it was uh, you once said a Swedish player you had a greater chance of being hit uh, t twice by a lightning bolt I think he said uh, during the same day when you had hitting this move so that should tell you, like, and if they were willing to give you a thousand dollars. No, what was it you once said? It was so funny. You have a greater chance of during the same day getting hit by two lightning balls and then an asteroid. You know, like Armageddon, an asteroid hits you as well. Uh, so yes, this was considered impossible to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, one of Army King's absolute best tools. Uh, no matter what, you would attempt this move. Um, so that was Armor King in uh, Tag 1. He's really, really cool. Uh, he was loved by the community. But yeah, unfortunately, um, we kind of lost him after this game uh, for many years. Uh, but a really cool bastard, and I want this dark upper to come back. Make it happen, Harada-san. Uh, but so I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I hope you have a nice day. Take care.